Hello, this is Audiotron 1003 and this is a special video just for Texas 132. Um, we discussed my skull so I thought I would show you what I've got. First of all, let's have a look at the top row. This one is a Hanman Langer. It's made of plastic. There's a cat, a crow. This is a rabbit I found. This is a bush baby, and this one, if I just have a look, I forgot the name. This one is, uh, let's have a look, sorry about this. Uh, it's a lemur of some kind, I can't quite uh, read the name, I've written it on the inside of the jaw, and I can't read it, so sorry about that. Uh, anyway, where were we? This one is real, as are, as are all these. This one is a rhesus macaque. That one is a baby baboon. That's a Barbary ape. This is, let's see, it's a vervet monkey. This one is a squirrel monkey. That's a deformed squirrel monkey. This one. This is a marmoset. It's the smallest one I have. This is a plastic replica of um, a baby orangutan. This is a hundred year old juvenile chimpanzee. And uh, down here we have some botanically sorry botanically correct clay fungi that I bought over the years from a uh, lady that uh, makes them and uh, they're very delicate and the reason why the shelf is a little dusty is because I don't want to break anything so I tend to dust every two or three months um, this is for example orange peel fungus this is uh, fly agaric, the, uh, the red and white mushrooms I like to use in Disney films. Uh, this is an ink cap, a magpie ink cap. Trooping crumble cap, another form of this. And my favourites are these. These are shaggy ink caps and what happens is as they get older they sort of liquefy and sort of end up looking like this and eventually there's nothing left anyway back to the skulls this is a uh, gelada baboon male this is a plastic anatomically correct museum standard um, skull it's a 30 year old female and uh, she if she'd been real she would have been an Asian woman of say Indian origin okay and she's a uh, Caucasian in skull structure the reason why I know this is because someone told me it's all to do with the shape of the bone and the shape of the eyes and over here we have a mandrel baboon okay uh, now all these skulls at the bottom they're all plastic because Either I can't afford the real thing, or I don't think it's uh, ethically acceptable for me to have the real thing since the uh, species rather endangered, or in the case of the human, um, I think it's more acceptable to have a plastic one. This one is a male orangutan. By the way, this is a real dried mushroom. Um, it's called a rooting shank, and I've had it for 20 years. And this is another real mushroom, just a little bit dusty, I need to dust this. This one's real, whereas the others, for example, like this green one, they're made of clay and then painted. And lastly is this one, the biggest skull I have. This is a, a male gorilla. Let's have a look at this. Adult male lowland gorilla. It weighs quite a bit. 
Uh, I've had to glue all the... Uh, move that out of the way. I've had to uh, glue the jaws um, together simply to stop them falling off. Anyway, um, if I just step back a bit for you, give you a, a closer, well, a better look of everything. This is my entire collection. Oh, one more thing. I love crystals, so I used to grow them. And uh, this is a potash alum crystal, aluminium, uh, potassium aluminium sulfate, and it's roughly about an inch and a half around. Okay, anyway, one more look at this for you. This is my collection, I call it uh, Death and Decay. Uh, the reason for this collection is because I love natural history, and that's why I have it. Anyway, Texas 132, this is for you. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, bye.